Hello, Sons of Light Youth Group. Hey, this is Keith Spanberger, and I am coming to you from a hotel room in Colleen, Texas. Um, I guess first, many of you might be saying, who are you? Uh, well, in 29 days, I am going to be uh, your speaker at youth camp. I am honored to once again get to go. And it seems like, you know, the youth group, has, has transitioned because you have all the youth that, that grow up, go off to college, and then the youth that keep growing. And, and so some of you may not even know who I am. Um, some of you may have been to other camps that I've spoke at. But in 29 days, you get to see my bright, sunshiny face, and I get to see yours. And I am really excited. I'm actually, like I said, I'm in Killeen, Texas right now. And... Um, I'm at Fort Hood Army Base, and I'm taking three days of medical training. Those that know me, my background before I got into ministry uh, in 1992 uh, was all fire and rescue and EMS, and even today I'm still heavily involved. And so much so, again, I'm, I'm here at Fort Hood Army Base in Killeen uh, taking three days of uh, medical training. And it, it's been... It's been a lot of fun. Tomorrow it will be the third day, and I head back home. And, and um, you know, I, I'm excited. God is so good. And, you know, just to think again, in 29 days I'm going to be with you. And, and this year I'm excited about what I get to talk about. I'm excited about this camp. And I'm, all, I'm excited about all the camps, and I'm excited about the word that I get to bring each year. But this year I'm going to be talking um, on the on the subjects of radical faith, and um, that's what we need. We need radical faith, and so you know the definition of radical is very new and different from what is traditional or ordinary, having extreme political or social views that are not shared by most people, and um, that's us. That should be us. Unfortunately, there are um, those that that don't share the way we believe by faith. They believe faith is something different. Um, but we're going to be talking about faith. And I want to encourage you at camp to just be that person of faith that God's called you to be. And you know, so many think, oh, well, one day I'll be, the, I'll be that Christian. But right now I'm just this youth. I'm just this teen. You know, I'm just going to enjoy my life. But that's not what it's meant to be. I mean, when we accept Jesus as, as you know, whether you were at church listening to Pastor Richard or listening to, to Eric or Kimberly or Ernie or whoever speak and you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your life, a switch flipped. And when that switch flipped in your life, something changed, something happened. And, you know, when, when, when that happens, I, I see John 3.16 is what really comes alive in us. Because it says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Switch flips, and this should come alive. That God loved me so much that he sent Jesus not just any person, not just an angel, not just a this or that. He sent His only begotten Son so that you, by faith, could live a kingdom life. And, you know, if, if you look over in Matthew 6, and this, you know, this in Matthew 6, starting in verse 7, it goes down through 13, 7 through 13, it talks about the Lord's Prayer. And this has become my daily prayer is this prayer right here. And it just is constantly going through my head. And when it talks about your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, in verse 10, when I think of how glorious and how big and how, how awesome heaven has to be and is, we're calling that into existence in this earth by faith. And when I think of that, that's radical. That is that is absolute radical to me, to think that I am calling into existence your kingdom come, 
your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's that's powerful to me. And so, um, you know, those are these are this is what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about radical faith. And I hope that I can plant a seed in you starting from that very first night to the very last service. I, I pray that I can plant a seed inside of you that's going to ignite something in you. And that when you come back to church Sunday morning and you see your family, you see your friends, they're going to look at you totally different. They're going to be like, something's different. And this is a little longer video than what I've done, but I just felt, you know, I've been sitting here in my room and I just felt this is what the Lord wanted me to share with you. And so 29 days from today, I will, I will be with you. But this is what I want you to do. If you're going to camp this year, if you're going to camp this year, right now, tonight, this is Thursday night, I want you to go and message me through Facebook. It means you got to find me, which you can find me through Eric's Facebook page, Ernie's Facebook page, Kimberly's Facebook page, Louie's Facebook page. I mean, you can find me. But this is what I want you to do is I want you to send me a message through Instant Messenger, through Facebook, that says, I'm in. And what I'm going to do, I always like to give prizes, little things away at camp, but I'll do a drawing that very first night. I'm going to take all the names of those that are at camp that send me a message through Facebook that says, I'm in. I, and we're going, to do, we'll do, we're going to start off with that drawing that night. And so, um, and then through the videos I do over the next many days uh, we'll have some other things coming up and things such as that and things you need to remember like tonight's scriptures you need to remember what I said John three sixteen, and then also Matthew 6 verses 7 through 13 remember those two scriptures remember those it's important and so hit me up on messenger tell me I'm in we're going to do a drawing that very first night and between now and then my prayer is this is that something radical, something supernatural come alive in you. Because that's my expectation. That's my faith for you being shared in this. We are going to have a radical time at camp. We are going to have fun. We're going to learn. We're going to fellowship. It's going to be a blast. And I cannot wait to see you there. So I look forward to seeing those that hit me up through Facebook. Um, if you don't have Facebook, uh, and it's through Twitter, I'm, I'm on Twitter also. Drop me a message through Twitter, Facebook, Twitter. However, but you got to get me a message that says I'm in. So help me get the word out to everybody that's going to camp. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye.